As inflation drives the price of food and vegetables up, a community market in South Columbus is bringing fresh produce to residents in need. That's right. NBC4's Jonathan Jackson is live outside of the All People's Fresh Market. And Jonathan, it's become a vital resource to those in the community. Sierra and Jen, it sure has. You know, they serve over 350 people a day here at the All People's Fresh Market. And I talk with some of the customers here who say without it, they probably wouldn't have fresh groceries to bring home. Across this market, you'll find fresh produce like watermelon, grapes, tomatoes, and more, all being served to families and residents living with food insecurity here in Columbus. Try going to the store and buying some of this stuff. I just come from Kroger's and it, it's expensive. For Mary Coates, coming to the All People's Fresh Market is more than just a weekly routine, but a necessity. Because without it, she says she's unable to afford other expenses. It is because I'm on a fixed income myself, so I come here just about every Tuesday. And she's not alone. On average, more than 350 families come to the All People's Fresh Market a day. But thanks to a partnership with the Mid-Ohio Food Collective, the staff here say they have plenty of food on hand for those in need. I love it. You know, it's like, you know, this is, this is what I love doing. Gary Stevens is the manager of the All People's Fresh Market. He says they provide free, fresh produce to any household earning less than 200 percent of the federal poverty guidelines. And he recommends that those families in need visit them first. We ask people to you know, come here, get what you need, and then go to the grocery store. So that way, you're welcome to come every day, get something for that night for the table, go to the grocery store, and then get whatever else you need that, that we don't have. Which is something residents like Iris Rayford say she does every week. Because I don't get food stamps, so, you know, my rent is high, so I have to eat. And this helps out so much. Now, residents who come to the market must show their ID, and also those who attend and qualify are able to come here at least once a day. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.